Hello everyone, welcome to episode 38 of Floating Through Film. Uh, this week, we, uh, well last week we ended our Bird Top series, so we're kind of doing another one-off se- episode before we start our next series in a couple weeks. Um, and this week we thought we'd kind of go take the podcast in a different direction. And as you've probably seen in the title already, uh, What's a Bad Movie? We thought we would talk about, you know, what's, what, def- what is a bad movie to us? Are there different types of bad movies, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? And we're going to talk about that now. And then, as you've also seen in the title, hopefully, we're reviewing two different types of bad movies, in our opinion. Uh, Troll 2 and Red Notice. But before we get into those, let me introduce uh, the other hosts here, Blake. What's up? And Luke. Hi. So, yeah, let's just get started. What's a bad movie to you? Let's start with Blake. So there's nothing worse than a boring movie. And that is the crux of what a bad movie is to me, is if it's boring and I just don't feel like watching it. Um, that's bad. Like, like, we'll, like we'll get into with Troll Two. Troll Two is not bad. Like, to me, it's not a bad movie. It's so bad that it's good. Like that, like that term that people always like to use. It's so bad that mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah. That's what Troll Two is, and it's because it knows what it is, you know. And like, that's also a huge crux of like what makes a good, like a a good bad movie is like it has to know what it is. And as with Red Notice, it doesn't. It's trying to be something it's not. More so than like I don't know. And we'll have to talk about but... that more specifically when we talk about Red Notice. But... Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, the no. crux of a bad okay. movie to me is definitely it just being boring as hell. So yeah, I, mean, I was I everything Blake said I completely agree with. I also just add like bad movies are ones that I feel like I just wasted my time on. <laughs> like that I just like took like nothing of value that I, I uh, from it essentially. And by value, I'm not saying like I took a theme from it. I meant like I'm taking no feeling of like you know this is a good movie from it, which is kind of okay. I don't know if that was the best explanation, but really it's just. Did I get something from this movie? If I didn't, it's probably, probably it's a bad movie in my opinion. Like there's there's no redeemable qualities for me. So do you think there are quote unquote bad movies that you can still get something out of? Uh, I don't know. Or I don't, is think, a think movie it's to you, if you if you get something out of it, is it just good no matter what? That, that's all you. That's really actually a good point. Um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get at, right? Because yeah. like I said, these are two different types of bad movies, right? So yeah. what do we mean by that, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, honestly. I, to be honest, I, I don't even watch a lot of bad movies anyway, so it's kind of hard for me to say. But that is true. That's yeah. a good point. Maybe I love. Them. I, 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 I don't <laughs> watch like that's many thing, that, and that's kind of thing. I like to me. I'm like I don't watch any bad movies, you know. And I'm getting. And then, but if someone well, sees me this, review, uh, the, you know, the Dark Side of the Moon, Transformers, uh, five stars, people are like, what are you talking about, Danny? You, watch bad movies, <laughs> you but, do watch bad movies. That's, that's bad what I'm movie, saying. Yeah. And so what does that mean? For t- like, yeah. there's almost this like versus subjective of just my personal opinion versus yeah. objective bad movie and good movie right that's kind of what we're talking about like yeah, that's good. objectively in just uh if you were averaging out mm-hmm. everyone that watched the movie they would both say these movies are bad right the two movies we're reviewing yeah but there still seems to be a difference between the two and i think uh blake said this when you were talking about uh, at least with red notice it's trying to be something that's not is not basically yeah. i think you said i think that's actually a good description between the two right at least troll 2 knows what it is it's it's being what it is, right? Yeah. And Red Notice is, like you said, it's trying to be something that's not. And uh, I guess, spoiler for what we're doing next week, we're doing uh, the new Avatar movie and Terminator 2. And the reason I bring that up is because <clears throat> with The Rock, um, you can see in some ways he's kind of like, he's trying to be Schwarzenegger, you know, at least that yes. kind of new uh, action star. But what uh, at least makes Terminator at least interesting for Schwarzenegger is he is a bad actor, but it fits in the movie itself, right? Because it's using him to his strengths. But in, the, in Red Notice... The Rock is obviously trying to be something that he's not, right? Yeah. It's like he's trying to be almost like a James Bond. I don't know, like, how, yeah. what kind of action he, star would you describe? Well, him? He's he, trying he, to be what he's obviously. Well, he's, not. he's trying to be. He's trying to play someone that is, uh, who is essentially a, a mole, you know, basically like a double agent. Yes. But yes. there's no nuance. There's just it's just like oh I'm Rock. Like there's no oh, I'm Rock. There's no depth to his character. <laughs> no, at all. Yeah, exactly. There's no like there's no two sidedness to him because yeah. there's like no side to him. Yeah, all pretty much. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. <laughs> Also, we should probably note, mention that we, we, we said we were going to do another movie on the la- at the end of the last episode, and we changed it. <laughs> oh, we did? What did we say? We, we, we said the Monster Truck movie or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah we said oh, we were going to yeah, do that yeah. last week, but okay. then I really... Okay, but that gets us to this point. Yeah. Why did we choose Red Notice over Monster Truck? Because Red Notice felt like the most corporate movie I've ever yes. seen in my life. Because yes. literally yes. the posters exactly. yes. have nothing about the movie except just the cast. Like, it's just yeah. Gal Gadot, The Rock, and Ryan Reynolds. Like, there's no- nothing else. Like, yeah, like, they, like, knew what their movie was, like... Other than, other than the cast, is like there's no reason to watch them. Oh, yes. like, but they're still selling it as this is still a great movie. Everyone should yeah, watch it. You know, like maybe we should be nominated for awards. You know, like that kind of thing. Oh you know, like, 
I hope they didn't think that. I hope they didn't think that. <laughs> Me too. No. <laughs> uh, no, but I think that's kind of something you uh, we maybe haven't mentioned yet. Really, we've kind of gone around it. Is the difference at least between these two movies is you mentioned one side of the Red Notice being the corporate side, but yeah. maybe the difference is you can tell what movie has heart at least. Oh, yeah. Almost yeah. like and literally pr- the production behind it. Like yeah. what was the actual production behind the movie? Was it why was it made? What were they trying? What was the goal of the movie being made? And Troll Two, obviously, it's written by the it's written and directed by the same guy. And you can tell it's a really small budget. You yes. know, you can tell it's made to make the movie itself almost, right? Yeah. Just to you know, make the fu- make an interesting movie from this guy's mind. Yeah. But like it has nothing. To do, it has nothing tell. to do with the original troll either. Like it's completely disconnected see, from that... the original troll movie. Like it's its own thing, literally. Okay, so. Okay, okay. All yeah. right. And you can see like some good filmmaking too in it. Like yeah, I love, yeah, like, the, yeah. The, the handheld parts in it. Like when yeah, he would yeah. go handheld, like wide, kind of wide lens in a way. And I kind of like the makeup and stuff. It felt like a Clockwork Orange, like kind of like camera work yeah, in, a way, yeah. in some ways. And there, there was a lot, yeah. Like they, they even had like a Bergman profile, side yeah. profile shot. In it like I was like, okay, like. And I like the trolls too, honestly. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, great. Oh, you walk looking people. Walk looking people. Honestly, maybe if Lord of the Rings had like as good a design as that, you know, maybe they would be better. You know, their design was better. So. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Which one do you like more? I mean, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Okay. I, mean, <laughs> I, was, I was just kind of. You had to think about it. I was kind of joking around. Right? I was kind of joking around, but. Uh, I don't know, but see, that's the thing. Uh, that kind of, Troll Two has so, you can there's, you can tell there's so much heart behind it. You don't want to hate on it. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. but like Red Notice, like you're you're not even hating on any, anyone when you hate on the movie. You know, like the stars got exactly what they wanted before the movie came out. They got yeah. the money, right? Yeah. They, that's why the movie came out. And then yeah. Netflix got what they wanted. They got stars in the movie. In a movie and, and I feel like the the, the main reason why people call Troll Two bad is the acting, and honestly, the acting fits the yes. The absurdity of the it story. It fits like, what it's going for. Yeah, like it's, it kind of reminds me of cigarette. Like, what are you like? Like, like you want you want the fucking like witch actually. to be you want the witch to be this serious witch whenever she's literally turning people into salad. Like, uh, <laughs> because it's like, because it's a movie about how, about how eating meat yeah. is bad. <laughs> yeah, and like do, do, about like making fun of vegetarians more yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. about making fun of vegans. But yeah, it is. <laughs> Should we just get right into the movie then, oh, yeah, or do we have some thoughts on bad movies? Talking. Maybe we'll, we'll talk about it more, I guess, in the movie yeah, we'll itself. Keep... But yeah, but we'll just go to Troll Two then. Um... So yeah, what did you just say about? Uh, yeah, that's basically the theme of the movie, I, and I never realized it the first time. <laughs> yeah, I no, it basically is. Yeah, uh, it's just so making fun it's of vegans. Yeah, like... it's making fun of vegans. Yeah, like it's not even pro like I don't know herbivore or carnivore. No, or yeah, it's like, it just kind of just making fun of them. Yeah, it's literally yeah, it's just, just having like... fun, honestly. Yeah, like... it's kind of <laughs> I can see why uh, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you might not like the movie, but. <laughs> yeah, learn to laugh at yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's, <laughs> it's making a type fun of a a certain type of person too right mm-hmm. you know that's always wants to basically get everyone on their side kind of almost like it's like saying veganism is almost kind of like a cult kind of thing yeah <laughs> but dude uh, really what the, uh, the movie i wanted to mention the movie that it reminded me of it's kind of had some in the mouth of madness vibes oh yeah yeah know. you know going yeah. when they go to the town and everyone's crazy and like oh well, yeah and they're trying to get everyone else to become crazy <laughs> they're trying to get everyone else to become crazy. yeah, yeah. No, it's definitely a surreal movie. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like that's the thing. It's it feels self aware at points, but the thing what I think makes it a bad movie, not just like a good movie, is that it doesn't feel self aware at other points. Yes, and yeah, it does sure. kind of have just like some bad storytelling and stuff. Like... No, that's where that's where it is bad is because like they're literal like the script is terrible. Like that's definitely the worst part of the entire fucking movie, and that's what makes it. I bad. do kind of like the ripoff I... of Princess Bride to start the movie though. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly. I don't know if I'd call the script bad though. Like it, it's it's hilarious. It's 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 funny. Like it's a the, the the dialogue being that bad is what makes it funny. Uh, funny yes, but funny, like honestly. that's that's where I actually think the script was was trying to be okay. Okay, but <laughs> that's fair. But I mean, yeah, but yeah. Because yeah, I don't think a script writer tries to make a bad script most of the time. I think no. they try to make something they think is funny, and then this is just like. It's funny, but it's funny because it's so badly written. Or like, so like you're so saying that written, the but... writer doesn't know that it's bad. I think he. Oh, yeah. that's, that's the thing. That's, the thing. that's what, kind of what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Like how self-aware is the movie? But itself? the thing is, like, there's just poor writing in terms of like literally over-explaining everything. Like having to say the, <laughs> yes, like every yes, minute yes. detail is going on, basically. Okay, like like the, that happens all the time. Like, in the movie. oh, oh, she, she turned him into that. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, and they just, oh, that was fucking hilarious. Or the ending of the movie just being like. Goodness destroys them. Or something. Yes, yeah, li- literally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, by touching this thing. I, I, like, it's just, it's just, as a Jacques Demy fan, I can get behind that though. Yes. Honestly. I mean, that's kind of making my point here though. No, yeah, nah, I'm kidding. I love Jacques Demy. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, 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 apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> but I did actually wrote, wrote this in my notes too. The beginning of the movie did give me a Jack Demi vibe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did joke about that. When we were yeah, remember, that. Uh, yeah. especially uh, what's the movie I'm thinking of? His like uh, Donkey Skin. Yeah, Donkey, Donkey Skin. Skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That yes. kind of like at least real. Like the sets, almost because it's fake, they feel real. Yeah, yeah. Right, and we kind of talked about that with the thing too, where like uh, with their animatronics, where like um, you can tell it's not a real thing, right? They're not trying to be overly real, but you can tell it's real in terms of like it's actually there. They're filming something. Yeah. You know, at least that's what feels on. Um, at least gives it kind of a certain charm with Troll too, like. Maybe it's not the most quote unquote realistic looking at like if it, you know, there was a real troll attack going on, but it at least looks like they're actually filming real things. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not fucking on, on a computer screen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, tell, you can tell yes, they yes. exist. Like, yes, exactly. Like Red Nose. No. Yes. Yeah. Oh, see, that's the exact <laughs> opposite. Oh, yeah. That's the exact opposite. Oh. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. Like Red Nose feels like they're just like, oh, let's get these actors whenever we can get them in a room. We'll I'll just have to film some scenes with them all like in three different spots, you know, and they're all talking and it's like yeah. dramatic and stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then in front of green screens, you gotta remember yes, that. Yes, yes, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, see, like yeah. that's why that's why I like this, like Troll Two, uh, like what Luke says, like it actually does have actual filmmaking, like oh, actually yeah. good. No, filmmaking dude, I read, so. uh, there's actually one really good shot at the beginning when the the um old the old man is telling the story, the Princess Bride style. Yeah, like, yeah. basically straight off rip off. Oh know? yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's no, self aware, it like it, yeah. it knows that, right? And yeah. so, um, but he's like telling the story, and then the story ends with the kid um showing up. In the story before it cuts back to yes, yes. I was yeah. like, oh, that looks like almost like something Fellini would yeah. do. Okay, you know, like yeah, the kid, yeah, yeah. the real life kid showing up in the story before it actually goes back to like really fast into the uh, real world almost. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, no, but that's what I'm saying. You can tell this guy's at least like has something he's trying to express. You know, he's like uh, he actually yeah. it's uh, see, and maybe that's kind of another point. Maybe is uh, for the most part, the difference is you can tell like you've been saying earlier. Red Notice is corporate. It's made in a boardroom. It yeah. went through a hundred script writers, and everyone had to approve and disapprove of it and stuff. <laughs> and this one is just you can tell it's from one mind. Oh yeah. Even yeah, if it's from yeah. a mind we wouldn't say it's quote unquote uh, a good filmmaker or anything. Yeah, it might be more. It might be more Ed Wood style, but <laughs> I haven't seen Ed Wood. I haven't either. Yeah. Is that a Play Tim Burton? Who's no? Well, Tim Burton made the movie. Well, he made yeah, the movie okay, Ed Wood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but you're talking about the character Ed Wood. No, I'm talking about the director, director. Edward. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't, he was, okay. he wasn't yeah. the actual director. Like... Okay, I didn't even know that. I had Knives no... from Outer Space. That movie's fucking terrible. Oh, but see, that oh, one, that okay. one, like, Ed Wood actually is not a good director, so... <laughs> but people like movies. No. But, but, but are there people that would say he makes uh, good, bad movies? No. Oh, okay. yeah, I so think there there's just some people out there. There's probably, I mean, you're so no, that's the thing. Him. Well, no, that's the thing, is that his movies are so bad that he's remembered still. Like, they're really <laughs> bad. They're really bad. <laughs> But see, that's maybe a good thing. <laughs> that's kind of what we're talking about. Well, yeah, about. I guess. Because yeah. compared, that, yeah. that's maybe another standard we should hold yes. to. Is like, yeah. Troll Two. We're talking about a movie made in nineteen ninety, right? Yeah. yeah. Red Notice came out last year. That's the only reason we would we even remembered it. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. if it came out in twenty twelve, there's fucking no. I already forgot about it. Yeah, Luke's yeah. the one that remembered it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember totally remembered it. So I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's the thing. This movie is purely made so it can be just content streamed on the opening week for someone on on Netflix. You know. Yeah. And no one's gonna be like, oh, the ten years from now, like, oh, let's watch Red Notice, you know? Yeah. Oh, just, just put on my side and sound battle. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, not, I'm not even saying that. But I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm not even like, saying like, that. Like, even if it's just like, oh, let's watch a fun action movie or something. I'm kind oh, of bored. Yeah. Like, no one's gonna ever think of Red Notice. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it just it really is just supposed to hold your attention for two hours. And, then... and uh, like, I mean, what we haven't, fin- I guess we haven't finished. Is there anything else we want to talk no, about? No, we can finish yeah. all too. Yeah, we can finish yeah, all too. Yeah. There's still some other good stuff. Uh, like, what else comes to mind when we, about the movie uh, itself? I mean, the are we do we have we talked about much about the special effects, like uh, like with like the plants and stuff, because they looked amazing. No, yeah, they actually like, looked really good. Like, yeah. especially like, wasn't there a scene where uh, someone like a plant came out of someone's? I think it was he was like yes. hallucinating on the drive. Yeah. And that was like I was like okay I'm getting John Carpenter vibes like. Oh yeah, for yeah sure. that's yeah. what I'm saying exactly. Yeah. Like it it feels very much like that. No, yeah. and they can't. I'm, yeah, the budget of Troll Two was a hundred thousand dollars. So I mean like wow. <laughs> like I mean oh, yeah okay, so they, okay. it took a, it yeah like. Let me look up the budget of Red Notice, so. but uh, I want to look up Stop. the budget. Stop. That movie, that's gotta be, I'm going to guess like $100 hundred million. but okay, it's not, it can't be that But much. see, how much of that is just going to be the three actors? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Oh my god! Is it more than... $200 million. <laughs> wow. For a Netflix oh movie. God. Wow. That's... Wow. How many times more is... Where'd it go? I mean, it went to the actors, I guess, because okay, it definitely dude. didn't go to the fucking okay. thing. Uh, this, this Slate article that uh, the Google says, it says... Um, um, Red Notice is, has a reported budget of two hundred million. The movie's directors claims the actual cost must have might have been closer to three hundred million. But then they throw in a random shot of the Irishman's may have actually been as high as two hundred twenty five million. 
Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. But that, one, that one's worth it, though. Yeah, but see, but that, one, but that one actually <laughs> looks good. So. Yeah, but I was like, why are they making this comparison, though, between the two? It's like... Oh, man. Plus, like, one, has, like plus also, one actually had, like, the aging technique. Yeah, that, so that, that, that cost, cost a lot of money. That cost, so. like, a good portion of it. But, yeah, I mean... It's... But either way, almost $300 million for a movie that went straight to Netflix. So it didn't even make them move money, like... People didn't buy tickets, you know, to make their money back that way. But apparently, it was the highest watched Netflix. It's the highest watched Netflix thing. That's because apparently. even if it auto plays, it counts yeah, as they, a watch. They just do so. it. And plus, like Netflix, they're the only ones that release their own data. That's yeah. a good point. Like uh, even TV ratings, uh, like TV ratings go by most of the time Nielsen, which is a third-party company, and they and then so like a lot of TV companies, they have to hold themselves to that standard. But Netflix, yeah. they don't have some third-party company that does their ratings or anything. They okay. just basically release numbers whenever they want to, and they're like, no one can ever Damn. corroborate or anything. Damn. Okay, that's actually a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. they go by hours watched, metrics like that, you know. Yeah. Um, which is kind of what they want, you know. They don't, and that's another thing. They don't care anything about the quality. They just, like you said, they only care about did you get two hours on Netflix, right? Yeah. And they're trying to hold your attention, right? And like. At least, like, if you're on your phone, every once in a while you can hear, like, if you do like The Rock and Gal Gadot and Ryan Reynolds, you can hear them talk every once in a while, you know, yeah. things on the live action scenes. Okay, yeah, yeah. While you're on your phone yeah. or doing whatever. <laughs> like I was. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we... Uh, no, yeah, actually, we're, we're supposed to be still talking about Troll 2. No, but, uh, no, but, uh, yeah, but that yeah. relates to, uh, compared to Troll 2, though, is you don't want to be on your phone because you will feel like you're missing something. Oh, yeah, Whether yeah, it's, yeah. quote-unquote, good or bad A or whatever, ridiculous you know? scene. You're going to yeah, miss something ridiculous. Yeah, or a cool special effect. Yes, or a cool special effect, yeah. Yeah, so you but or Red just Notice, a cool shot because it does have some pretty cool shots in it too. Yeah, so. yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like Red Notice, you're not scared of missing anything yeah. anytime. Yeah. Like, literally, yeah. you might you can read the Wikipedia and you actually might think the b- movie is better. Honestly, that's a good way. Yeah, that's a good versus point. like <laughs> than if you if oh, you watched man. it. Oh man, yeah. And that's not what a movie should be, you know. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Anti-visual image. Yeah. Yeah, Anti-visual like, image. But we also we also mentioned about Troll Two before we stop. Uh, the the town being called Nilgob or uh, <laughs> yeah uh, uh, Nilbog Nilbog, Nilbog, yeah. Nilbog yeah yeah, yeah oh remember Goblin verse yes it's Fire. Goblin backwards <laughs> <laughs> okay we have to talk about the best line yeah, in the movie too uh, they're eating her and they're gonna eat me oh my, oh my god, god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so fucking good dude oh, man. hilarious no. and uh, okay and I I was actually when I'm watching uh, Troll too because I just I was looking at my notes to see if I wanted to mention anything else one thought I had was um, Maybe one reason we kind of like Troll 2 is we're, we watch more, at least, lower-budget movies in the first place. And not only lower-budget, but more just slow cinema or just you know, still camera yeah, movies yeah, yeah. or one-perspective camera movies. And Troll 2 is basically that, right? Like, Honestly, every scene yeah. is just one tr- uh, camera from one perspective for the most yeah, part. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Versus Red Notice, they have all this money in cameras. They have, like, yeah. people being shot from, like, five different angles. Yeah, they're kind of, like, like, yeah, yeah, all over the place. So, like, yeah. there's no logic to Too it. Many. It's yes, like, yes. Uh, and just that lower-budget feeling because the kind of movies we watch, we're almost just more naturally inclined to like that. Well, Honestly. plus, plus you can literally, like, this is one of the big, I guess, we're, are, are we ending with Troll 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, okay. yeah, we'll so like, it, yeah. this is something I was doing today, actually, at work. I was explaining Red Notice to my coworker, and when, whenever I was looking up scenes on YouTube, I was like, "This is what the movie's fucking for." Like, all the scenes are literally just so they can like clip it, put it on YouTube to get people to watch the movie. Like, yeah. like quick, just like some just like conversation between them or something. Yeah, it's just yeah. like yeah. like literally just a quick conversation, just like a like, just like a long joke, like the like the fucking bull Honestly. joke or whatever, like. Like with the, like the Jurassic Park joke, I mean, like that thing, like that thing's just put yeah. on YouTube, like that's supposed and, to get people to watch the movie. And, and not even like just that, on YouTube, so. but TikTok is a big place yeah. for that. Oh, like, like the yeah, amount of clips nice. I've seen on like TikTok, like they, they'll basically be just like whole movies just posted in clips, like and they're oh. like, oh look at this like cool scene that where some guy beats up people. Like, yeah. and <laughs> but look, see, look, you look, can't look. even say that about Red Notice. Is yeah. there, like I don't remember a single action. Of well, no, they had action scenes. Oh, there's action definitely action scenes, scenes but I don't remember any of the actual fights, like. You don't remember the Gal Gadot fight with the Dwayne with the Rock and the Brian Reynolds? Yeah, where she oh, okay, okay. Like beats him up, but then apparently we can figure out the okay, you know, okay. Are we gonna spoil the movie at the beginning? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, are we gonna yeah, spoil yeah. the movie? The... I mean, you can see the twist coming from a hug a mile away, though. Like, right? to be honest, I didn't even see it coming. I, I saw I the know, twist but, of the Rock uh, being not a FBI. Yes, yes. but yes. they, they didn't know that. Like, because dude. They have no chemistry at all. Yeah. No, yeah. Like yeah. it's just not. It's like to me, even when the twist is revealed, it's like, oh, like that would have been interesting if they, you know, like yeah. they had chemistry. Yeah. Like if I could believe it. Yeah. Okay. I was like, even if they That's are, fair. there's, I don't believe it. Like they're just not. No, believable. they are not believable. The, the, the thing is, I, I didn't see it coming, but I think that was mainly because I would uh, to see it coming, you have to actually like pay care. attention yeah. to yeah. it and like care. Like yeah, yeah. I didn't care enough about it to like even think about it that hard, you know. 
Okay, we should get into the movie. Uh, the movie though, because I, I want to at least mention the beginning with the Rock, because this is kind of my point when I was saying earlier about the Rock doesn't know what he is like in the movie. Yeah. When he comes in and he's like trying to be like fucking Sherlock, you know? I remember he's like over he's like trying oh, to be a detective and oh stuff. It's like, no, this is not believable at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's insane. Or like the scene where um, and this kind of just reminds me of the other main scene I remember from this uh, when he's in the prison and it's like yeah. the one scene the Rock doesn't get in a fight, but it's like this guy, this like. This uh, kind of like just no muscled kind of chubby guy who's trying to fight the rock and the rock is yeah. taking it. And we're supposed yeah. to believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, the opening scene, like the opening chase scene, is probably the best scene in the movie, which is obviously not a high bar, but like the, the drone shots in that were kind of cool. Yeah, Michael Bay stance. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they were kind of cool. Like, obviously, he didn't hold them okay, for some okay, reason. Okay, like, yes, yes. He like cut to the, uh, he like would cut from it. I'm like, yes. Why would you cut from it? Just leave it there. Yeah. Like, I know, they're, that'd they're, been so much better. I think they spent the most money on that one, probably. No, see, I actually, I actually legitimately laughed whenever the rock got in the That's, Porsche yes. and drove off <laughs> and the guy hit by the truck. <laughs> yeah. I legitimately laughed. That was, that. I was like, that's fucking funny, dude. No, so because I even wrote that I was like, to, at least that's one of the few times where you see the Rock actually lose at some Yeah, point. yeah. And that's what makes it kind of funny too, yeah. like, right at the beginning. But like the whole, it would be funny if the Rock was willing to do a whole movie kind of like that. Yeah. No, yeah. if he was just like a bumbling idiot, like a like, like a, a like game. a or like a Jacques Clouseau, you know, like Pink Panther type thing. Okay. He doesn't have the range for that. Yeah. He just no, he doesn't. Range. That's he the doesn't, thing. That's but... why it's got to be like he's a robot and he's doing that. He's you know? a robot. He's a no, cyborg. but that's what I'm learning same with T two though. And that can be a good thing. Yeah. It's, uh, you just have to make the story work. Like, it doesn't make sense. The Rock is literally just trying to be Sherlock Holmes in the opening scene. No. He's like trying yeah. to be like a detective and stuff. Like, this is not believable. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me just casually pour this into yeah, yeah. the thing. I, I know that. And then, did you mention that like? Oh yeah, with the, the, co- yeah. the cocaine. Yeah. yeah. And then like, uh, did it's you like, mention? You mentioned like uh, they shouldn't even shown Ryan Reynolds' face in the opening scene. Like, it would have been so much better if it if, if it wasn't yes. shown. It. If they don't reveal it. It just yeah. felt like they needed to show like throw Ron Reynolds out there as soon as possible to get yeah. people to pay attention more like yes, yeah. further in the movie and we just have to get some like funny lines between the two while yeah. they're running while they're chasing each other oh man but yeah. I mean yeah. I, the thing is like and from there the movie yeah. just gets better no kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we get like a, mas- a Jean-Pierre Mel- uh, Melville heist movie masterpiece you know yeah like, you know, <laughs> oh my god you know, but Dude, like, uh, it honestly is funny watching Jean Pierre Melville and then watching this because they're like complete opposites Jean Pierre Melville is like the Brisson of heist movies and this is like trying to like just like throw shit at you like but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, the difference between a bad, good movie and a good, bad movie. Yeah. Maybe at, towards the beginning. But uh, that's kind of what I was saying with uh, the difference between a bad, a bad, good movie. Where, like, the, the, almost the same kind of thing when you're saying with the opposites between uh, uh, yeah. Melville and this. Like, this one is trying to be that type of movie. You know, it wants to be a good action movie. Like, the guy that did this did, like, Skyscraper, I think. Yeah, Skyscraper's um, also terrible. Yeah, so. yeah. But you can tell, like, if you asked him what his favorite movies are, he'd probably mention some great action movies and stuff. Yeah, he'd probably yeah, mention Raiders know. of the Lost Ark. Or, or like, so. Die Hard, maybe? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah but, oh, definitely, yeah. But, but, but then, I was like, but, but, that, but like, okay, you can say those are your favorite movies, but if they have no correlation to what you're making, then what's the even point of saying it? Bro, you know? I, I think the Russo <laughs> brothers liking True Foe disproves that. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, see, that's the worst example. <laughs> that's a, like, did you see the AI stuff? Uh, yes, that was terrible. With the, uh, they're like, Wes Anderson. And, directing, and, the, directing the Avengers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, like, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Oh, God. They're, like, proud of it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, because yeah, that kind of actually leads me to Red Notice, though, because uh, the... Um, do you remember the very beginning of the movie with the, you know, of course the classic narration voiceover? Oh, yeah, that was, but, I hated like, that. like, me and Richie, when we were listening, we were like, oh, why does the voice sound so weird? And I was like, I literally think it was an AI they really? used for the narrator. Like, I'm pretty sure it was just, like, a computer thing, because it sounds so bad. Like, it does sound terrible. Uh, and that, and that, and the reason why I say that connects just to Red Nose in general, because the whole, a lot of the script just feels like it was written by AI. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, write a action movie script with, you know, just... And it, because it, it's not written for the actors. It's just like random bad lines for the most part. Yeah. Maybe a few Ryan Reynolds just like no. Classic well, I mean, lines, I but... guess. But I mean, like the fucking spiel that the, that the Rock has whenever he catches him, like the first time, like whenever he says, like whenever he's profiling him and shit, and, oh, yeah. and then the, like your the your father line, like. That just had me dying because I was like, "This is literally the worst writing I've ever seen." Like, oh my god! <laughs> what was he fully saying though? Do you remember? Like, it was like it was like it was like you're trying to be better than everyone else because you want to prove that you're worthy. That, of that you can escape your father's yeah, you love. But then, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> no, no, no. He, you can prove you can escape, and, and then he's like, he's like, I think he's like, well, he's like, you can prove you can escape from anything because you want to prove that you're the best at everything because you want to prove that you're worthy of your father's love. And I was <laughs> like, "Oh my god!" Uh, so this is when Ryan Reynolds gets caught, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. first time. Because 
yeah, there's another bad line in that same uh, scene where uh, <laughs> where um, it's someone says because <laughs> uh, they say to Ryan Reynolds, You're, "We're gonna send you to the worst place in the world." And he says, "What well, your Instagram account?" <sighs> oh my god! Like, uh, and that was one I was like, "Yeah, this looks like feels like it's written by an that AI." Does, that hurts. Like that. That's no, that one. That AI one actually hurt me. So, like, me, so. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "There's no way human thought that was funny." There's no way. I, I'm, I'm laughing really hard because I'm bad at this. But yeah, it's just it's funny no, in a different because, way. No, yeah. because the, literally, and this is what I'm saying, like the whole AI thing, because the next <laughs> scene, or like the next moment, is like they make an, he makes like an Etsy joke, Ryan Reynolds does. Yeah. And like The Rock doesn't react like he's never heard of Etsy. Yeah. Like in real life, you can tell he's never heard, he does he has no idea what Etsy is. And like you can tell, like, this is not written for the actress itself. You know, it's yeah. almost like they thought this would be funny to, I don't know who, but. Oh, it just okay. there's, the whole movie feels like that, but that that is probably the funniest yeah. scene in the movie. <laughs> just it's not for not, reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not it's for, for the, the wrong re- reasons. Yeah, for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I think the next scene is then we like the rocket set up. Yeah, that, that you know, just like, happened all just the by time. like one phone call. Like yeah. all of a sudden, uh, no one oh, believes yeah. he's in there. Yeah, FBI. she's the worst. She's the worst <laughs> fucking airplane agent of all time. <laughs> but actually, the twist though. Yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Yeah. But they were working oh. together the whole time. So his plan was to go to prison. Yes. To be honest, I yeah, honestly, I didn't get that. I I I don't, I don't know if that was the best way to take this route, but yeah, they like like they literally could have just followed Ryan Reynolds. Yes, they didn't have to go through because they videos. did that at the very end. Like everyone always appears because they just follow them because they don't know how to like, <laughs> like, hide. They apparently, didn't have to like, do the like, whole plan because Gal Gadot was just amazing at following Ryan Reynolds. Or yeah, like she, she appears she appears Ryan. everywhere first, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I believe you. See, there's just no thought. It's like almost. It's like uh, yeah. It, it doesn't deserve to be talked about even as details as we're talking about yeah, it. Because, right. like, we're thinking about it more than the writers or whoever wrote, <laughs> yeah. it, wrote it. You know what I mean? Like, there was no script writing room where people were like, oh, what about this, though? What about yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so that, us doing it, we're putting too much thought into it, honestly. Yeah. Yes. It's trying to be a Raiders of the Lost Ark, like James Bond, yeah. Man from Uncle thriller, yeah. and it's See, Man from Uncle is too. It, but it wants to have that kind of feeling of Man yes. from Uncle, though. Yeah, so like, Man from Uncle's the, the, the good version of this. Yeah, so. yeah, and, yeah. and it wanted to be Raiders like, so bad that it stole a piece of the score from it during the scene didn't it when, when they go into the underground thing in the jungle didn't Raiders yeah Raiders it's still yeah he started whistling the Raiders thing all the way okay, yeah, yeah that was annoying <laughs> yeah just no, that was, offensive you know, it was but, offensive because Raiders is amazing and this movie is just the worst but <laughs> uh, yeah like I mean, actually talking about it now I hate it a lot more than I thought I did Oh, yeah. But because no, like while wa- like we, like you mentioned this, it actually is watchable. Yeah. Like while watching it, I I was like I was not like disinterested the entire time. Yeah, you know? I held I my attention. I disagree. I held my attention. I mean, I was more interested in just because I, it actually was kind of funny, just like. How bad? The, how no? <laughs> cri- there's no charisma between any of the actors. Like no oh, chemistry. Man. Bro, do you, the, you know, like the, the, it almost feels. I like actually think Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne and The Rock is okay. They were okay. I can't, okay, no, but no, dude, no, no, that was but, probably just Ryan Reynolds. Well, when he's. he's Dude, when you say no chemistry, he's, he's the same guy in every movie. Yes, he so. is. Yeah, <laughs> he's just playing himself. But yeah. when you say when you say no chemistry, the first thing that comes to mind is the dance scene between The oh, Rock yeah, and yeah, Gal Gadot. Yeah. I saw someone on Letterboxd compare that to a board recalling meeting a dolphin, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't keep it out of my head now. Like that's just like the perfect way to describe it. There's like the most like uh, it just doesn't it doesn't work. Uh, we haven't talked about the you know the main underlying theme the deep theme of this movie of basically fatherhood yes fatherhood Father, and, bad uh, fathers yeah they all had bad fathers so they all became bad people in- <laughs> it, that's basically what the movie yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, including the strangler remember where he even like I was like why did they even explain that like because yeah. at the very beginning Ryan Reynolds was like oh this is you know this evil guy the strangler his dad strangled him when he was thirteen years old and that's why he became a strangler or something yeah he was a strangler. I was like, uh, the, the the fake husband that the five five to... the five five guy oh yeah, 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 yeah. one okay. of the more intense scenes in the movie where he's like yeah. he's choking the rock or he's oh, choking yeah, yeah. The, yeah the rock basically yeah, yeah. and then apparently he can't hit the but remember rock we have we range. have to know why he became a strangler though yeah. because his dad strangled him so. <laughs> and also but they say that hello they tell us that like, <laughs> damn uh, but it, it's funny though that he can't even hit the when, when he was trying to shoot shoot the rock in that scene and like he just like was missing him for some reason like this is some like uh, Star Wars like clone. Uh, yeah, stormtrooper like, shit. Stormtrooper, no. yeah, stormtrooper stuff. So. Oh. But it, it really is. Like, uh, it would be more interesting in a better director's hands. Where let's say, uh, Gal Gadot and The Rock are actually, you know, they know their plan all along. Yeah. But she still has to torture him, because yeah. she does technically like uh, electrocute him and stuff. Yeah. And he almost basically dies from choking until Ryan Reynolds, not even her, saves him. Yeah. But they never. She just like, oh, it was kind of funny, you know. We yeah. just had to do oh, it. Like, yeah. oh, we knew. I knew he was gonna be safe at the end. But... 
And her accent basically kind of feels like it changes throughout. Like, <laughs> yeah. But but then you remember we're getting two more, so you know. Honestly, I'm kind of interested in watching them too. We might just, just to see finish. how bad it gets. Yeah, see that's see finish. that's it, the, that's like the a, worst part about this. It's is like because a something like Man from Uncle can't get anything made after it, and then this gets two yeah. sequels. And fuck and off. It's fuck definitely off. the completionist in us where I'm like, I'm like okay, I might. Just have well, to it's more just it's like I might as well finish the series. It's literally a car wreck. Just like I can't look away from it. You know, it's it's I don't know if I can. I, I just I'm just curious, too curious. And there maybe there is a certain amount of watchability. I can't even say that. There's not a watchability, <laughs> but it is like a it's a zone out movie for sure. That's a, yeah. At least like yeah. something I like, my I, I'm talking about this yeah. movie way more than I thought I would be able to versus how much I actually zoned out during the movie. You know, like <laughs> yeah. maybe that's not the movie strength, but it. I mean, it's kind of made for that. You know, it's a Netflix movie. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Three hundred million dollars though. Where did yeah. the fucking money go? Like, uh, well, they not the visuals, dude. Um, the the, the uh, when they go into the Roman Colosseum part, where they where they actually find themselves in the, in the bullfighters, yeah, the bull, the, the, the bullfighters, bull the bull yeah. yeah. The... And then the way the 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 bull hits the rock, it just looks so bad. Like it, it literally, oh, looks it's terrible. so bad. And then he's not injured; he's just fine the whole time. He just walks. <laughs> well, off he's the rock, you know. <laughs> he's strong. But yeah. you know, just a single guy can push him over. Like yeah, you know, and we and we've all him. seen how that ends with uh in Jackass. Jai Knox, they'll get. He oh, literally takes. To... Oh yeah, two times. He's done that oh, in two man. movies. So you got, you got to see. You got to see. You got to see. I mean, oh, The Rock has done it too, and he did it in an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see The Rock actually take a fucking bullet. The Rock is just oh, built different, bro. Honestly. The Rock is just built different. So. <laughs> I wonder if Keaton, did Keaton ever do anything like that? Did he yeah, he probably. Did. He he had a movie called Go West, so I'm sure he did something oh, like that. Okay, okay. Or was it Go West? It was Go West. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I can't remember. I know he's in a couple westerns, so. Spoof movies or comedies. Okay, is there anything else with Red Notice <laughs> that you Yeah, there's just so much to talk about. I don't even know where to start, you know. Um, uh, the ending. I mean, the ending is yeah. a twist. I mean, okay, we, we're, we're struggling here. We, there's nothing yeah. else. <laughs> yeah. We, we're uh, but yeah, we're getting two more sequels, so we'll be back. Hey, we'll be back. We'll be back. So excited, guys. We'll be back so, to so the Red Notice universe. Uh, yeah, the, the, it is the really Red depressing universe, that, like, uh, this is how Man from Uncle should have ended. Yes, two With sequels, two more sequels exactly. already planned, you know. Yes, like, just think about this. Uh, instead, of, instead of fucking Ryan Reynolds, The Rock, and Gal Gadot, you have Arm. Okay, well, okay, Army Hammer definitely fell off recently. <laughs> yeah, but okay, but yeah, Harry yeah. Cavill and Alicia Vikander, are you yeah. kidding me, dude? Like, oh my god. And, too and, many hot and Army Hammer's good too at many hot He's people. Exactly. He's no, he movie. is. And that was it, it makes sense. They're still both. Animal, so. it, they, it's, it's actually it's actually good <laughs> casting too. Like they are different, but also like you can tell they're both like fucking like you know really handsome tall man at this yes, time you know? yes yes but this one is like there's no like anything just ryan reynolds and the rock just doesn't feel a good, like a good match at all yeah you no. know it's, it just it's, they just took like the two most profitable like stars it does, and just slapped them in their own kind of genres you know yeah, like yeah, the yeah. quippy comedy guy and the it's like the rock's even a popular action star though i, I just don't he know. Is, oh yeah he is. oh yeah people so go cool. to movies just for the rock even though i don't i still don't know why oh, wow. i mean he's just big muscle you know big muscles beat people up apparently and like doesn't he have a clause in all his contracts that he can't like lose a fight or whatever that's in the past he lost he lost a fight in this movie with the car (laughs) yeah no no he lost with the car with the bull and with that one guy in in prison prison. so yeah yeah, he's vulnerable he didn't fight back did he he fight back in any of those no he didn't fight back and the the one fight he like kind of lost when he fought back it it was real at the end that like oh yeah he was pulling his punches and stuff because he was fighting Gal Gadot yeah that's true Okay, and that kind of reminds me too. Like, I just noticed because I noticed it towards the beginning of like their first action scene when she starts fighting them. Yeah. You know, in the dress and everything, she's trying to be you know just the cool action actress, uh, action star. You know, with the dress. Um, but her hair never changes. In the whole, you? basically the whole action scene. Like, and you can tell they probably filmed like a different scene towards the end of the scene, uh, and on a different day. Because then her ha- her hair's just changed, but it's still kind of perfect, but just in a different direction. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> uh, I'm like, oh, this is so bad. I'm not surprised, this is so though, bad. Yeah. Ugh. Man. Wow. It's it's uh it's what fast cutting can do. It can make an action scene like when they probably only like film like two kicks. Like <laughs> like oh, oh kick with your right foot, kick with your left foot. Yeah. This we'll, is we'll this, get an is, what, scene this out is what Vertov would have done with the with the digital oh camera, you know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, but um Okay, yeah, no, I don't so have So that's the movies. difference between a good bad movie and a bad bad movie. <laughs> or no, a good bad wait. It doesn't fill you with the kind of like no, this kind of regret of oh did we really just spend that much time talking about Red Notice? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we, no, we, we did. We went too we far. This <laughs> yeah. is too far. But you know, um, so will you guys actually watch the sequels though? No. 
I probably. I think I probably. I might. Know. That's I the might, sad part about it. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna watch it on Netflix. I'm pirating it. No doubt. I mean. I mean, I have my parents' Netflix anyway, so it's not. I don't know if I'd stoop that low. Just but... to just to give them the numbers and stuff. <laughs> just to give them. Yeah. The why numbers. would you do that? You know? Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Apparently, they do. They do value the hours watched. So. But okay, I mean, honestly, th- that makes that is a good segue to what we're talking about next week. Basically, you know, one of the masters of the opposite of a Netflix movie, uh, <laughs> James yeah, Cameron. Yeah. This is, I'm really hoping Avatar two does amazing because it is in some degree the opposite of a streaming movie. Dude, I mean, uh, Netflix yeah. is so stupid anyway though because they could have made so much money with Glass Onion. Oh yeah, they just that's left it in fucking yes. theaters, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like, what are you doing, you yeah. dumbasses? Oh my god. No, they the hate money because <laughs> they want those streaming numbers. Because you know, oh if they do a theater too long, they're not gonna get as Netflix. Much me. This is why. This is why I'm. This is why I'm proud to not be a Netflix subscriber. So no, I, I am. Proud I think they will it. do that. I think they will do that eventually. They're gonna have to. Because to me, it just makes it better. Like, uh, it would make me want Netflix more. If uh, if I could see the Irishman in theaters. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If they played it in theaters, it, no, it would still be to me a Netflix movie where like I knew after I would be able to get watch on Netflix. Exactly. You know? yeah. It would just be like, oh, all the movies they produce in theaters, I know I can go get them in one place. Yeah. And but at the same time, you have to trust them to produce good quality stuff, which they yes. don't. But in, uh, yeah. I think we talked about Mank before, the new David, yeah, uh, the yeah. David Fincher Netflix movie. And I, I don't know, I'm not saying this is true with everyone, but I do think even when they hire certain directors, when the directors know they, they're going to be just Netflix movies, yeah. they treat them differently if they, versus uh, yeah. they knew the movie was going to come out in theaters. Yeah, you know. Sure. Like sure. and it's almost maybe not even consciously, but even like just you can't help it, right? You know, it's a different. It's not going to be watched in big in a big screen, you know, or it's not going to be watched by as many people or something, or the same audience. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Netflix should do that where they just start releasing their movies in theaters. Yeah. <laughs> because they are just losing money. It feels like too. <laughs> oh man, I mean. And yeah. talk about you know movies making money though. Oh, we, Avatar just, 2's yes. gonna make so Avatar, much So what money we are doing next yeah. week is Avatar two and uh, Terminator two, right? Yeah. The yeah. two James Cameron sequels. It's pretty fitting, I think. Yeah. 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 No, it matches. Yeah. No, dude. I, I, really, I'm, I just really want this movie to do well. It's, I, going, I, to. Like, it's going to. I think people are going to call it failure if it's not like the you know most movie that makes the most money of all time. I mean, honestly, awesome, Mike, though. That's the thing. I guess we'll see next yeah, week, yeah, right? We'll well, yeah, we're going to... I mean, if it's back, good. Yeah. When we come back, yeah. we'll know at least how it did opening weekend. That's true. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited to watch it in 3D. We haven't had a 3D movie uh, in a long I've time. Heard, I've heard, like, yes, just, yes. I've mainly heard good things about this. So. I mean, dude, we yeah. watched, me and Luke at least watched when it came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was crazy. Yeah. And yeah. it looked really good at 3D, too. Oh, yeah, no, we'll watch it. It looked good. The story oh, was, for sure. Apparently, the story's improved, which is, like, the main thing I want out of it. Like, I, I mean, like, okay, actually, that's a better way to say it. At the least main thing I want improved from it. And that's that actually kind of makes us, that'll relate to next week's episode, too, with T2. Because, um, at least maybe now that he's built the world, he can at least just kind of be more in it now. That's a good way. Person yeah, not having to develop way. all the characters and stuff. Yeah. So, and yeah. it's three hours, so he definitely wants you to be in the world. Yeah, it's true. Good. But yeah, um, <laughs> yep. So. Uh, and he loves to film underwater. So. Uh, that's what I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, that's yeah. why it took so much time, at least partly. Yeah. But yeah, until next week. Hope to see you floating through the clouds. Thank <laughs> you.